There is a better way to do skull crushers than the way you're doing them right now. All of these moves that you're doing in the gym, they are not just about point A to point B. If you wanna build muscle and build true strength, it's all about the little things, and that's one of the things you want to address with your skull crusher. So the ideal way to do a skull crusher, you're gonna tip your elbows slightly back the way Akib is doing it right now. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna put you in a position of tension. This is not normally what we get with the skull crusher. When we see most people do the skull crusher, the way it's taught in gyms, the way it's taught in magazines, and not the ideal way to do it, you're gonna see people keep their upper arm perpendicular to the ground. Now what this does, when we watch Akib come to the top of a rep here, what this does is at the very top of this rep, he is no longer in a position of work. His wrists, elbows, and shoulders are all stacked on each other, and he's taking complete tension off of his triceps. He's also invited something else. As he gets tired, he's put himself in a position to let his elbows roll forward, to let his lats get involved in this, and that's not what we're here for. We're here to destroy and focus on our triceps so that they grow. So we wanna keep constant tension on our triceps in order to do that. To do that, we've got to make one simple adjustment. All Akib is going to do is he's going to think of tipping his elbows back. Think instead of a 90 degree angle of forming a 92 or a 93 degree angle. And what this has done is this straight arm position right here, we put him in a position to work for the entire set. So that's going to be 30 to 40 seconds of tension on his triceps and he has to earn that position at the top. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna keep constant tension on your triceps through the entire time. That's gonna build the muscle and strength you want, so make the adjustment. 